What is up guys, yeah boy Raven here today with another fantastic deck and today today we're gonna talk about the Pips Toys deck but not any regular Pips Toys, no it's gonna be a green, excuse me, greens Pips Toys so Green's Pips Toys is something that is similar to what we've seen with Gardevoir and Sylveon, right? Or uh, we've seen Reshazad, you know, with, with, with Green's, or Green's Reshazad, you might say. So, as you, you know, as you say, we will be using Blastoise and Pip Lab, which I think it's really powerful card but it just needs this extra something and on top of the games that are gonna be in this video, there are coming, you know, videos during this weekend where I was using this deck during the try hard tournament so if you if those games are not enough you can always watch those two coming this weekend onto the YouTube channel on top of the two rounds two last rounds of uh, our pre-release in Katowice all right so blast and pip lap splash maker 150 damage and you may attach up to three energies from your hand and for each you heal 50 and a bubble launcher which here I know is you if you have six energy it deals uh, 250 damage but for us the uh, paralysis is more important right so for three energy you can also para uh, paralyze your opponent and we will be playing three copies of this pokemon because this is really really a great attacker but he needs this something to beat for example adp and this something to beat adp or a few other decks like caldeo well it's a Lugia GX, right, with, with a lost perch with the adp matchups if you can really you know get into the last purge, Elyon on that ADP, you are in a really good spot because even though you know they're gonna attack, it's still out of range after the GX is 190 damage, and they are losing their engine, and that's quite important. And again, against against uh, many many decks that utilize you know just like Mule Three or whatever, you can actually put that uh, into a last purge or uh, you know. Attack Purge, right? Also, you want to put that Latios into a Lost Zone. And, of course, we do have three copies of Kyogre, and this is going to be our main engine, but also, this is Swirling Wise. This is going to be one of the two counters towards Caldeo, which second one is, of course, Power Plant. So let's take a look at the whole deck, and let's go card by card. We do play seven Pokemons, 37 Trainer Cards, and 16 Energy, which seems a lot, but we kind of need this amount. So we do play... <coughs> Excuse me. We do play one Lugia, three Pipstoises, and three Kyogres. That is the whole line. Then we've got one Cherish Ball to actually find Lugia, four Custom Catchers, one Energy Retrieval uh, Recycle System to not only shuffle back the energy sometimes, but also to put it to our hand so we can actually play that from our hand onto a Pipstoise and heal him. Then we have two Energy Spinners to get that energy, one Great Catcher for this early on discarding if your opponent is playing GX is to actually utilize Kyogre a little bit more for Pokegears 3.0 to search for the support that you need. We got two Pokemon Communications, two Switches with one uh, Switch Raft. Why this ratio? Well, Switch Raft works, of course, with this, uh, with water type Pokemons. So it kind of is not working with Lugia. That's why I went with the regular Switch to actually be sure that we're gonna get that Lugia uh, retreated. We're gonna get that back on to our bench. <clears throat> then we got three tag calls, of course, to find the tag team supporters and to find the tag team attacker, which is Pips Toys. One tag switch, two power plants with two Vrillian Forest, so a little bit heavier on uh, the stadiums right here. Two Cynthia and Caitlyn, one Faba playset like honestly four copies of greens expression because it's a greens version of the deck we got two malo and lanas with two misty and lorelei to get that energy to our hand and sometimes you will be able to use the gx one more time if you want if you really want to be heavy on the gx's and of course 16 energy so that is the whole deck right that is his purpose to actually charge depending on the matchup super fast lost purge or Splash Maker using Kyogre, right? Like that's gonna be uh, our 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 scenario here. So let's save that deck and let's go. Let's play a few games with it. And I've called the PPP Toys Blast Toys, of course, because there can't be normal names here. And I do have sleeves because I know a lot of you uh, are like, oh, Raven, like you should use sleeves just for you. And do you want to go first and want to go second? Uh, Personally, this depends on your personal preferences. That's what I would say. You can go second, actually counting that you will have, you know, the great catcher to discard some energy. The opponent will have the GX. Uh, Sylvia and Caitlyn maybe to discard, but also, you know, the Kyogre to start. If you're a little bit scared and you're like, well, I want to, you know, be a little bit 
less on the attacking side of uh, side of things you can go first and just slowly develop your board but again you know going second I think it's really really good with this deck so I've lost the coin flips I can't really choose here so let's go David I'm gonna am I gonna go first or I'm gonna go second it's all up to you my friend it's all up to you not like I know him but you know it's cool to, to, to just talk even though he's not never gonna respond to me all right, I'm going second, so let's take a look at our hand, and my hand, well, it's nothing, so let's do the mulligan, and of course, you know, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, not only round four uh, of the pre-release on YouTube, but also some pre-kits opening, because we do still have some pre-kits to open, so uh, I thought it's going to be really cool to open them for you guys on YouTube right here, all right. And I think the hand is not that bad, uh, even though we are starting with the Pips Toys, Lugia, I mean, I don't really have to play that Lugia now, and I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna press OK, press done, and see what am I facing, because it might be a matter that I don't really need to use a Last Purge. That's a Blaze Falon, that's gonna be great for a Last Purge, but also, I do wanna be a little bit faster. And I know this is a deck that kind of struggles against uh, Blaze Falon decks, uh, baby decks, Again, you know, maybe with the quick balls, maybe with uh, the cards that are coming in Sword and Shield, we're gonna come back to this deck uh, and we're gonna make it a little bit better. But here, I've, at least, you know, we got the Green's Exploration, uh, we've got some pieces that we can utilize, so it's not that bad. And it all depends, you know, where he's gonna go, what he's gonna put, and where, because energy is gonna end up being in Lost Zone. Um, now or later and of course you know going first normally in the sword and shield era you will not be able right he's not going to be able to actually uh well you know what power plant i can play a power plant he's not going to be able to play this welder which is huge uh for 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 uh, this matchup so you know what i'm what i'm going to say is i'm going to put the water type energy play the greens exploration because again there's not really a need of me playing Faba. he doesn't have you know beast energy or anything i will be able to you know retreat i'll be able to do some things so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a switch raft or and i'm gonna actually go and get myself greens exploration even though i do have Mal and lana right i am just giving myself options to Retreat to do something to not get knocked out uh, so fast with uh, this Blaze Falon GX. Because there was you know, no point of getting a um, great catcher, no point of getting anything else. It is a little bit slow start, right? You know, when you don't hit Kyogre turn one, you know, Quick Ball, right? That's how it's gonna be. When you're not hitting it um, and not discarding any energy during your turn one, which again, Quick Ball uh, will do that. It's really, really hard to pump a lot of a lot of resources onto those Blastoises, right? But again, we're gonna have the Frost Mouth, which will help this deck tremendously. And I do think that might be a tier two deck uh, right there behind decks like Picarum. All right, so actually there. Okay, so actually on to a certain point, I can think about playing Kyogre now. Um. I can think about certain things, so... Hmm. Green's Exploration... I mean, I would not discard anything, so there's no discarding. But I feel like, you no. Know, alright, um... Going for Spinner and, and, and Communication... It's not gonna be that bad, because I can go play Kyogre put energy here and he's gonna have you know like one prize card attacker right front because even like if I would go here that's two for retreat cost I mean that would disrupt definitely but he might have a switch so I rather you know give him one prize card than two You see, so Pokemon Communication, like, that's my, right now, either this or that. Uh, Pokemon Communication, I'm gonna just give him one prize card, and I'm gonna heal uh, the Pips toys. So I'm gonna go for Kyogre. There we go. 
I mean, I'd rather want him, you know, to knock out Kyogre than actually a Pips Toys, to be quite honest with you. Due to the weakness, right? Alright, energy is gonna go over here. So the draw power is on his side uh, thanks to the hit factor if he can get uh, the fire type energy, but if he's not going to be able to switch my active, I can say you know uh, that it's not a bad uh, bad position to be in because I slowly can prepare my side of bench and that's exactly what is happening. So if I'm going to draw the energy right now, I might actually have a knockout on the Blaze Falon if I'm going to draw the energy. And I did, alright. So this is now really interesting. So I have two options, right? Option number one, Malolana, and we're attacking. That's option number one. And because he just passed the turn, again, he might wait for me to do that. So he's going to be able to play uh, B-Strings, right? When B-Strings are real crucial. So you know what? I'm going to prepare another, you know, I'm going to prepare uh, another card. We have this green, uh, green exploration and a discard pile. Let's take it a little bit slower, right, this time. There's no need of rushing this game. There's just no need of doing anything like that. I do have time. I can just play green exploration for a switch. And this, uh, by doing that, I'm not wasting healing abilities of Malo and Lana. So then the question is, does he have it? Okay, that's Naganadal. So he, he maybe didn't have those. <clears throat> but at least we didn't waste Malo and Lana, right? I didn't want to waste that, because in the long run, Malo and Lana in my hand is definitely a lot better than uh, than having nothing. And right, that's a beast ring. That's a beast energy, sorry. Cherish Ball. We might say the Dene, or, yeah, that is a Dene, definitely the Dene. So, let's take a look. so he didn't have. Oh, yes, he did. All right. So, at least I. So, I read him correctly that he did have one. Um, but the thing is, he has, uh, he has even more. So, he might have another one. But he also might think I'm not going to retreat Kyogre, and I'm going to hope for that. I mean, I know there's a little bit of hoping in everything, right? Like, you do that, but it's the moment where you have to be sure. Either he's going to go for a knockout and put the energy into a lost zone, or not. It's one of those. Let's take a look at the discard pile, by the way. Yeah, alright, he's going for the Pips Toys. He's knocking out the Pips Toys. So me waiting this one turn. Right. Me waiting this one turn is now... Yeah. Like, now I see I should have not waited, uh, waited this one turn. He's gonna go for full-on Mind Blown. Yep. Okay, so now the game begins uh, from 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 uh, well, <laughs> from scratch. And let's take a look. Five energy. So he does have a lot of energy still. And green's exploration. I can't let him have that anymore. So definitely a power plant. And missing lower lay. Just I will be able to heal right uh, my. My blast is Piplup. Okay. And a high water. Maybe I should have been a little bit more aggressive. Maybe I should have played that Malo and Lana. Not be scared of doing that and just knocking out uh, the living world out of, the, out of this Blaze Falon. You see, now I can just, you know, bite my tongue, bite my, you know, uh, brain for doing that. It happens and, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. But you know, if I would had a, if there would be a game two, I would definitely done that in a game two. But there's only game one, so you have to just be like, that's it. All right, so 
He's got a heat run, Mysterious Treasure, okay. Alright, so he's really thinning out a deck, so he does really want to draw into something. And those are definitely B strings. But he knows that for B strings, he has to have that energy in a deck. You can't actually you know, play B string and you know, have energy in your hand. So, 12 cards, th those might be energy cards. Not a psychic type energy, he might go for the Venom Shot uh, with Welder later, or a TCE. Always possibility. I, mean, I can go. You see, if I would, you know, if I would get maybe. Hmm. Okay, that's a green exploration. Venom shot is hundred and what? Hundred and seventy. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna have to go for a switch. So I'm gonna go for. I'm still gonna try to last purge, and I'm also gonna go for a switch, right? So I'm still gonna try to do that. But I mean, that's next turn. That just means preparing my next turn. That's a switch. And splash my cat. So right now, I know, we're in a range of Beast Rings, and I don't really like that. I, I'm Honestly, I'm terrified every time I'm playing as this deck, because the range of Beast Rings is just absolutely, you know, horrendous, and the engine is just on their side. So he played Blaze. Like, I'm assuming two Beast Rings, at least, since only one is in a discard pile. He checked his deck, so he browsed through the deck, checking what does he have. Ultra Conversion, drawing. Down to eight cards. That's the first B string, okay. Now let's take a look. Definitely there is energy. I mean, I don't believe there is none. Yeah. Six cards left. Another B string, there we go. That's 200 damage right now. And one more for the knockout. And a welder. GG. That's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. Let's go play game number two. Uh, this one turn, you know, I should have went a little bit more aggressive. Um, well, let's go play game number two. So, PP's toys, come on. Green uh, bla uh, blast toys. I believe in you. I believe in you. So, believe in me, I'm going to pilot you quite well. And again, uh, there are many games here with ADP. If you want to check those ADP matchups, there are going to be this weekend uh, in a try hard tournament, right? That is going to be on YouTube. So, if you want more matchups with this deck, because the deck is really nice, it just needs those few little things like a frost mode and, and a quick ball. You can check that out uh, Saturday and Sunday, all right? There are going to be, there are going to be on the channel. So let's take a look who's going to go first. Are we going to go first? Are we going to go second? We don't know. Matty TFG is actually second, and I'm going second. Alright, so I ha do have a Kyogre. I have a Great Catcher, and I have a Mr. Lorelei. So now it all depends what my opponent is going to play. If he has, you know, if he has something like an ADP deck, which I think it is. This Lugia is gonna be oh man. This is gonna be exactly what we need. Alright, of course I'm gonna draw those three cards. Oh we got a green exploration as well. Come on, I need him to drop that ADP. Okay, gear. So my idea right now is, uh, well, 
a great catcher discarding two energies uh, playing one energy from hand onto a Kyogre playing Green's Exploration also uh, for uh, the Pips Toys like for the tackle and that's gonna be Pips Toys and and, 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 and another Green's Exploration so I will have it next turn right and just lost purging as fast as possible ADP because he can't attack so this is my turn right now so doing exactly what I said I'm gonna do discarding those two energies I, we will actually you know uh, be able to pull this off if everything's gonna go right if everyone's gonna go right. So I do have one custom catcher, so this is good, because I it means that I don't really have to uh, search for a lot of things. So I can just go tackle and another greens. So if anything happens next turn, I can go one custom catcher, one switch, if he's gonna switch uh, any of my mons, right? So that's gonna be a tack call for a Pips Toys. And for Misty Lorelei, I mean, I know I have Misty Lorelei in my hand, but this is just to discard her. There we go. And a high water on Lugia. Because I know how important that is. How important it is to get that ADP out of the way. And once I can do that, I'm gonna be fine. I'm, this is really like me assuming that he doesn't have anything. And because I play this great catcher, he has to use a switch or Malon Lana or anything that he has to get Victini front so he can actually, uh, actually use the Victini's attack, which for me is great. Alright, that's a, that's a switch. So we kind of knew this might happen, right? So we kind of predicted it. It's all good. It's all fine. It's all cool. Let's see where the victory sign is going to go. And of course it's going into ADP. Alright. I mean, this is a top deck that I don't think anyone would, would, would expect, so... I'm gonna go custom catcher on that ADP. Grease exploration for energy spinner and a switch. So energy spinner and a switch, right? So energy spinner for the energy, that's third energy that I need here. There we go. Let's just don't miss it right now. Because this is his engine and we want to get rid of that engine. And a last purge. Goodbye. No more ADP. And he didn't use the GX. That's also important. There was no GX being used. At least not yet. And of course now I can just retreat. Like discard to energies from, from, from uh, Lugia. Play Kyogre attack and start charging Pips Toys. And that is the, the strategy that I want to utilize right now. That is what I want. I know he's gonna go for another another AD pay, but we, but I slowed him down. That is important. We slowed him down for one turn. He has uh, two less energy to play with. All right. So what? So, um, that's a retreat. That's gonna be missing Lorelei. So I'm gonna search for the energy. One, two, three. Energy from hand on the Pips Toys and Kyogre on the Pips Toys. There we go. One, two. So I can freely start using you know, either another Misty Lorelei, but I'm going to probably go Cynthia Caitlyn on uh, Pokemon Communication. So I can bring back Green's Exploration and I can actually draw something. 
And Rune's exploration for the next turn, you know, is gonna be a great, great, great call. Okay, that's gonna be a definitely a retreat. Oh, right, victory sign again. Okay. So that's the way he wants to do it, and well, I mean, it's kind of fine with me at this point. Pokegear. Okay, uh, Malone Lana, sure. So I'm gonna do this the exact thing I said I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna go and discard communication, bring back exploration, and we're gonna draw three cards. Which is another Pips Toys. And great! I mean um, uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do, you know, I'm just gonna go uh, prepare another Pips Toys. With Malo and Lana, with Green's Exploration, um, I know he's just gonna go front here and he's gonna attack or use a GX. He can always use, you know, GX over here to do 110 damage. Always a possibility, right? He can always do that and just shuffle it back to his deck. But I don't think he's, he, I don't think he's gonna try to do that. Right, Power Plant, which is not gonna work uh, on any of my stuff. Okay, did I discard Faba? I don't think I discarded Faba, so we do still have Faba in the deck. Uh, yeah, he's just going for a Altered Creation GX, okay. It's all good. So... Green's Exploration. I need, a, I need a switch. And I'm gonna go for another Green's Exploration. And I'm not attaching any energy whatsoever right now. And the reason is I'm gonna be able to heal with that energy in the long run and actually using Malin, you know, Malin Lana to discard something. So that's a splash maker. I mean actually you know what no I'm gonna attach one energy from hand just in case. Uh, splash maker 130 I know that 20 I know that's not uh, the biggest amount of damage that I can deal. Um But now the question is, should I go for all six energy right here? And fifty of another hundred and eighty. No, I'm gonna leave it. So I'm leaving it the way it is. Lugia is out of range of uh, ADP. I'm kind of out of range of uh, Trinity Burn on Pips Toises, but that is, well... <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing exactly, I'm gonna play Malo and Lana as well. But the question is, you know, can I uh, do it like that? That's 240. Hmm. I mean, if I would play Green's Exploration, I, does he have more Malo and Lanas? He might have. Okay, I have an idea, right? So Green's Exploration. Hmm. I don't really have more ideas, actually. Okay, Splash Maker.
All right, I'm gonna draw a lot of things with Mr. Lorelei, and I will. Okay, you know what? That's gonna be the most risky move I'm gonna make in this game, but definitely, you know, is it gonna be worth it? We'll say. So what I wanna do is Mr. Lorelei for those three energies, and for the full, like honestly, for the full five discard, to use the GX one more time. Of course, if he's gonna attack with ADP. Because if he's gonna, you know, go and attack, right, there goes Malon Lana. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna assume he doesn't have any more Malon Lanas. Uh, maybe one more switch, but I don't, don't really think so. So I should be able to knock him out. Like he's thinking, like he's honestly thinking as hard as I am about what he's gonna do. Cause well, he can play Mal and Lana, sure, and attack here, right? But then he knows I have six energy over here, and I can just knock it out. Well, maybe not knock it out, but you know I can be close too. And I'm gonna par paralyze him. So. Alright, that's a knock. Maybe he didn't, you know, actually thought about Misty Lorelei that can, you know, bring back the GX. And that actually, you know, might be, might be something that, you know, he didn't thought that, well, I might have something that will restore my GX. One, two, three, four, five, alright. Full effect. Bubble launcher. I mean, if he's gonna draw another Malone Lana, I'm just gonna know. All right, that's Faba. Okay. I mean, I do think, you know, uh, that might be a lost game. Because there's no more missing lower light in my deck. I still have his own GX. I mean, even though I'm going to you know, do a splash maker, I'm down to three prize cards, not, you know, not doing anything here. He's in 200 and, and more even damage, right? Okay, that's a switch raft. Oh wait, actually, wait, 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 with switch raft, I am able to heal 210 damage. So, if I would, okay, that's gonna be a switch raft, energy on Lugia. Okay, yeah, he has a great, oh, okay, that's a GG. It's because I wanted to do energy on Lugia, retreat Lugia, attack, you know, maybe have a second energy, heal, and that, that would have been uh, a nice, nice win. But that's a great game and a great showcase of the deck. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that. And, yeah. Don't forget to check me out live on Twitch as well. We're playing those decks, creating those decks, and there are more videos coming uh, to you guys this week. So see you guys. Goodbye. And good night. Have a fantastic weekend. Take care. Bye.